To find the tension in this green rope, what we want to do is first start at our pivot point and then calculate how much torque is created by both the rod and the hanging mass. So first thing you do is you find the force gravity for both the uh, rod and the hanging mass. So you take the mass, multiply by 9.8. Do this twice, once for each of the objects. Make sure you put the gravity for the rod right at the center of mass of the rod. Once you have your two force gravities, hopefully it's easy to see that they are both creating a clockwise torque about our pivot point. Calculate that torque by doing the radius times the force. So you're going to do this twice. Once using the distance to the moving mass and once using the distance to the center of mass. Use half of the length of the rod for your distance to the center of mass. Once you have those two torques, that will be your total torque going clockwise. For this system to be in equilibrium, we must have the exact same torque going counterclockwise. The only thing providing counterclockwise torque is this rope attached on the very end of the rod. Realize that the rope is pulling on an angle, so we need to break it up into two parts. A force tension in the y direction and a force tension in the x direction. The one that is providing the torque will be the y part. So what we want to do there is use our torque that we found for the clockwise, set it equal to the radius, which will be the length of the bar, times the force tension y. Once you have that force tension y, then you just use normal trig functions to figure out the tension in the rope. That tension in the rope is the hypotenuse of your triangle. The angle is given to you at the bottom of the problem. Okay, so this should help you find the force tension holding this bar in rotational equilibrium.